the investments to create the next chapter in our city's amazing story. The 2019-2020 budget is our city's down payment on the future envisioned in Rochester 2034. This budget makes the investments necessary to lift as we climb so that no one gets left behind. We are investing in a future that is truly bright for everyone, no matter who they are, what they look like, or who they love. I'm proud that this budget, just like our comprehensive plan, was prepared in partnership with our residents through public meetings, a telephone town hall, and an online survey. The results protect taxpayers and spends within our means. While investing in our infrastructure, public safety, economic improvement, and services for our children and families. The 2019-2020 budget keeps the property tax flat levy, levy flat. Let me say that again, the 2019-2020 budget keeps the property tax levy flat. We are not asking this community for one more dollar in property taxes. Total spending only increases by 1.8%. Water fees are up only 1% and local work charges are up only 2%, all in line with the rate of inflation. Despite our continued structural deficit of $38.7 million caused primarily by the disparity between the AIM aid we receive from the state and our MOE payment to the city school district, we still were recognized by Standard & Poor's as the best fiscally managed city in upstate New York. <laughs> While we have managed our finances, controlled spending, and kept our property tax levy flat, the state mandated shift has increased property tax rates for our homeowners. The total typical homeowner burden which is a combination of taxes and fee increases by about $50, or just over 2%. That adds up to less than a dollar a week. And we are investing these dollars in our future. We will fully fund recruit classes for our police and fire departments. We will invest over $65 million in our roads and other infrastructure, including the Rock the Riverway plan and La Marquetta and expand our Office of Community Wealth Building to lift more residents out of poverty. Ensuring economic equality and providing hope through well-paying jobs is a vital part of the Rochester 2034 budget. We will, I'm sorry, vital part of the Rochester 2034 and this year's budget. We will create a new position, a Chief Executive Officer for Redco, the Rochester Economic Development Corporation to lead our job creation, training, and financial empowerment efforts. We will also continue our successful job training programs like ReJob and Yanta, and we will launch a new job training initiative with our unions, Project Phoenix, that will teach construction skills and provide lower income homeowners with necessary repairs. Project Phoenix will enhance our housing stock and lift property values in our neighborhoods. Safe and more vibrant neighborhoods are at the heart of our plan, so we are investing in them today. This budget provides funding to revitalize our Clinton Bayden Community Center by returning it to city management. As a full functioning art center, Clinton Bayden will provide more programs and outreach to our children and families. Last year, we launched our successful traffic violations agency to ensure equity for our city's residents. This year, we will partner with County Clerk Adam Bello to bring back a full-service downtown DMV to Main Street. We will also join with our community to launch What's Good Rochester, a new social media effort to share with each other and the world what makes our city fun, special, and unique. It's time we all work together to trumpet our successes and tell Rochester's amazing story. Crime in Rochester is at historic lows, but we are not resting on our laurels. This budget expands service hours for our successful Pathways to Peace program, putting more team members out in our neighborhoods on evenings and weekends to create healing and prevent violence before it occurs. 
Police body-worn cameras are being upgraded and expanded to all officers who interact with the public. We are also funding a police accountability board to continue to build that trust. And at the very center of our community, at the heart of its future, is our children. Rochester's 2034 plan, as we unveiled yesterday, is about the legacy that we leave to them. We must provide them a city where they can thrive. We must make Rochester the place they want to call home. And we must renew that work today. Our 2019-20 budget does so by providing pre-K, literacy, STEAM programs, and others to make sure every city child is ready to learn and continues to be inspired to grow. We have increased library funding to support our new Americans and our youth programming. This budget continues to fully fund our maintenance of effort obligation to the city school district despite my grave concerns that the system is broken and demands change. But have no doubt, we will not stop fighting on behalf of our children. We will not be silent. I will continue to stand up for them and demand that our state legislature take action on their behalf. <laughs> to meet the needs of our residents today and to prepare for our future, we are changing the way city government does business. We are creating an office of project management and information services to oversee a digital transformation that puts the needs of our residents first and makes it easier for them to get what they need. This new office will report directly to the Deputy Mayor, James Smith, and be responsible for all our major technology initiatives. This change will break city government out of its silos and make sure all of our departments are working in concert to, make, to meet the needs of our residents. By starting today and investing as I propose in our city's 2019-2020 budget, we will meet the needs of our community and begin delivering on the promises of Rochester 2034. This year's budget controls spending in line with inflation, protects taxpayers, and invests in a future that we can all be proud of. I look forward to working with Rochester City Council throughout the review process with the full confidence that together we will adopt a budget that delivers more jobs, safer, more vibrant neighborhoods, and greater educational opportunities. <laughs>